And we're going to be following the case study of our patient, Anna Griffin. Anna has long suffered from peripheral artery disease, or poor blood circulation in her leg, causing cramping and pain when she walks. Now let's take a closer look at Anna's leg artery now that we've treated it. We can see that her superficial femoral artery is nice and wide and open compared to the occlusion we saw inside before treatment. But data shows that a two-dimensional x-ray view from the outside in only tells part of this story. So now let's take a look at Anna's artery from the inside out with our IVIS. And as you can see, we now have a much more detailed view. In fact, IVIS was able to detect something invisible on the original angiogram. It's what we call a dissection. Why is that important? Well, dissections are an almost invisible injury, but if left untreated, they can actually stop the blood flow. So if we relied solely on Anna's first angiogram, I probably would have missed it. But now Philips Ivis lets me tailor a better treatment for Anna so that she avoids amputation. So thanks to our Ivis, we caught the dissection and we can treat it properly, which is what we're gonna do right now using this Philips TAC device. The TAC can treat that dissection flap or prop it open. And because the artery usually has multiple dissections, this single deployment system has up to six separate TAC implants inside. This is really a breakthrough technology and having a TAC and IVIS in my back pocket gives me confidence to be more aggressive in pursuing endovascular treatment. This will ultimately save more limbs and more lives. And now you're in the know.